computer training step by step five examples we already discussed now we are discussing bonus the which is how to create a dependent drop down list in excel so here we have two data the building names and the destination names so once we select the category uh, with the help of dependent drop down list so we will have the building names if we select the category as building and once we select the destinations so we will have the list of destination our in our cell which is dependent on the category cell it's in the advanced section we will discuss uh, fruit vegetable and beverage list uh, by this way we can create invoice or requirement list once we select the beverage so we will have the beverage items in our selected cell once we select uh, by this way we can create item list requirement list or whatever you want to create uh, vegetable or fruit so once we select the fruit items fruit category so we will have the fruit items in our uh, selected cell and if we select uh, uh, vegetables so we will have the vegetable list in our uh, cell and we can write the quantity of our requirement so it's an advanced level so you before that you need to understand the basic uh, dependent drop down list so let's discuss the basic drop down uh, uh, list remember to subscribe and like mj online home Twitter academy for any kind of project and assignment please visit mj online home .com. so let's start how to create a dependent drop down list in excel we have two kind of data the building names and the destination names so once we select the destination we will have the destination names in our cell and when, once we select the building names so we will have the uh, building names in our data so this is the basic so we are going to remove the uh, all things which we already done so we will start from the basic and we will create a dependent drop down list from the start so i'm removing it here you can see it's not working right now but just we have the drop down list but it's not working so we are we are going to start it from the basic now i'm removing as well the, the drop down list because it's not working properly so for that i have to remove one by one and it's, it's not removing all together so first we remove build category and now we are going to select the names drop down list so now we have to create names of the data uh, once you understand the basic ones you will uh, you can do the advanced level as well so here you can see the it's working properly you can create a requirement list and if you create this kind of uh, drop down list uh, dependent drop down list so your boss and your colleagues will be surprised so please remember to subscribe and like our video so you can write quantity you can create invoice this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, using dependent drop down list so remember to subscribe let's just uh, work on it so now i'm going to remove the items and categories so let's give the, the table name as destination from 6 to 15 and uh, building names uh, we have from 6 to 15 as well so we have the we have the name we already gave the name now uh so here you can see once we select the name so uh, selection so we have the names so now i'm going to create a drop down list in category uh, cell below the category cell so here we need to uh, have a building and destination uh, in the drop down list so once we select the uh, building or destination so we will have the name of the uh, buildings or destination according to our selection so we have selected uh, dependent drop down list so here we have destination and uh, buildings in our uh, first uh, drop down list now we are creating second uh, which should be uh, which should be uh, connected with the category but once we select all together it's not working once we say okay so give us the error because it's not uh, working we have selected two columns and cells more than two uh, columns and cells so it's not working so we need to uh, apply some kind of formula the formula is here we need to apply a formula in the, in the uh, data validation option so once we select this list here we need to apply is equal to indirect and we need to give the address which address the address is the category uh, items which we will change it so here we have e6 so once we change save it so here you can see we have the destination names and we once we change it 
so it will be appear building names here you can see once we select the building so it will show us the building names so this is the basic one so you should know how to create the basic one then we will discuss uh, uh, advanced level as well uh, we apply some formula as well over there so that's uh, will you know understand that that will be helpful for you so if you understand basic properly so you can have this kind of uh, working on your data so this is uh, the advice please remember to subscribe our channel and i will give you some important things as well uh, uh, how to create a drop down list in excel step by step we, we have a complete training of uh, so you can watch complete training how to add a drop down list here you can see it's independent without data source in the uh, drop down list so it's a basic so if you want to learn from the basic you can you can watch complete training how to edit a drop down list in excel so here you can uh, edit your uh, drop down list if you already created so we have three items here and we uh, add three items here as well how to create a drop down list in google sheets so we also create a, a drop down list in google sheets a different way from the excel and we add a uh, drop down list in google sheet without data source as well so here you can see here we have one to ten numbers and once we change it so we can have other numbers as well because it's without data source so i request you to come watch complete video